It's really alarming to me that we're losing giant sequoias because if there's a tree that can handle fire, this is that tree and that we're losing them is beyond all expectations. We've had several fires in recent years where we've lost monarch trees. The first fire that that occurred in was the Rough Fire in 2015. We lost approximately 10 to 20 monarch trees. In 2017 in the Pier Fire, we lost another um, 20, maybe 30 monarchs. Last year in the Castle Fire, we know that we lost thousands of monarch trees. So that's the concern is that in these recent years, we've been losing more monarchs than ever before. Before those fires, we had never known of monarchs dying from a wildfire. The concern is that it takes 2,000, 3,000 years old for one of these trees to be replaced. And so losing a monarch is a very big, significant problem with the entire range of all the sequoia groves. And we cannot allow for these monarchs to have to withstand this kind of fire if we want them to be here for future generations. They're important ecologically, but I think it's also, it's important because it is kind of in my mind, it, it's part of our identity. I'm from the National Park Service. We have sequoia cones on our, our belts. And it is part of the reason why there are national parks. The idea of national parks were born out of giant sequoias and protecting them. It's part of Americans, it's part of their identity. And I think big trees everywhere, the whole world identifies with this tree. And so it, it's something that I think everybody in the world can appreciate and love and enjoy. So yes, they are important ecologically, but it but it's what this tree means to us. There are things that we can do to help the sequoias based upon experience that we've seen with these large fires. During the fire itself, we've been able to come in ahead of time and remove jewels from around the large monarchs. And we've been able to set up sprinkler systems where we've made the site wet and made it so that fire wasn't as intense. These trees need help now because there's so much fuel on the ground and these fires are burning hotter and faster than ever before. And these trees have experienced fire for millennia, but they've never experienced fires quite as hot as these. And so they now need our help to, to manage the fires better. And in this case, you know, sometimes provide a little first aid in order to, to get them through. In general, they're a lot of people's favorite tree and that they are just so beautiful and big and legendary. And a lot of people have a very special connection to the giant sequoia.